On today's episode of Fix It Your Motherfucker Self, we got a 2009 Honda Pilot. We got to change out the offset on old girl, so uh, we'll be back in a little bit and show y'all what's going on. Well, the customer called last night, sent out an SOS, saying that her car wouldn't start. Well, she had, this is the new battery I put in. And, uh, See, the battery light was on. Show you this old raggedy motherfucker that was in there. Yeah, that was in there. So, okay. We got the new alternator right there. But, yeah. Even after, you know, put the new battery in, we still getting the battery light. So, we're going to take that motherfucker down there out. out. So, back a little bit yeah first what you need to do when you're taking out an alternator is connect the negative battery terminal so on this particular Honda Pilot most Hondas anyway taking out the battery loose is a 10 millimeter so get our old ratchet here if I can switch it to turn it on and disconnect the battery. Put it up there. And wiggle it, wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> Sound like a kid's song or some shit. And put it to the side so it don't come back up there and touch that damn battery. Because we're gonna keep the positive still on. Try to keep the settings on the radio, hopefully. Because when you get down here, get the taking that damn uh, cable off, it's going to shock the shit out of you. You're going to make damn sparks and all kinds of shit come out. So, be back in a minute, y'all. Oh, yeah, you got to take this engine cover off, too. So, be back in a minute. Now, what you're going to need to do, take this reservoir for the uh, coolant, and then you just lift it up off it, it right there. And then unclip it. Got the clips. And this sit it over here to the side. After that, take the 10 millimeter bolt there. And that 10 millimeter bolt right here. And just we don't want to we if we have to, we will. We won't take out the power steering pump. So all the fluid don't go every fucking well. But if we have to, we will. But we're gonna take this bolt out and just try to lay that to the side. So back in a minute. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there is, let me see if I can find it for you. There is a 19 millimeter tensioner right, let's see if I can get the thing on, right in there. You're going to pull that, and you'll need the strength of God to get you a bar with some leverage to pull this belt the fuck off. I got it sitting on a bunch of cords, so I ain't got to try to put everything back together later on. So, I'll let y'all in a minute. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I took out that coil right here so I can get some room to disconnect all the plugs right here because my hands ain't all that small. Yeah, I got it set right there. So, you may not have to. You might have small hands. So, we're going to holler y'all in a minute. When my ratchet is on, <clears throat> that's the bottom bolt for the alternator. That's a 14 millimeter. The top one is a motherfucking 12. So, give y'all a little tidbit right there. I'll let y'all admit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, in order to get this goddamn alternator, it was not fun. I, <laughs> I do mean it was not fun. You're gonna have to disconnect this um, windshield wiper reservoir. There's a 10 millimeter that goes over here. Another one goes down at the bottom down there. And you turn if you turn it sideways, you can get it up through here and then push the power steering uh, reservoir to the side a little bit and get through that hole right there. But it was a bitch. So, back in a minute, y'all. Shit like this pisses me the fuck off, y'all. So we take the alternator out. We got the new, you know, got the 
old one right there. And we get ready to uh, install the new one. But apparently, whoever, before it got to me, dropped this bitch. Fuck I'm gonna do with this. So, back to the auto store we will go. So, be back in a minute, y'all. Well, we back from this time. We had to go to Riley's. Got the right alternator. Well, the first one was the right, right one, but it wasn't all cracked like this one would. I mean, this one's not cracked. The other one was cracked like a motherfucker. So, we're going to get this bitch in here. We're going to have y'all in a minute. As y'all can see, the belt is back on. It was not fun. <laughs> I can tell you one thing. I undercharged my charge for this job. <laughs> Other than that, I see why dealership charge so much for this one. This is a bitch. But we back in a little bit. Hello, child. Well, we got the bracket on and everything and belts and all that stuff is on. And all we gotta do now is put the cover on here. I uh, reconnect the battery and I had to take the tire off so I can make sure the pulleys was straight underneath the bottom make sure they built in the grooves and everything and we got to put the cover and the snorkel on and then we'll be ready to start this thing up so be back in a minute y'all well got old Humpty Dumpty completely back together now let's go and see what she do up here in the engine compartment get the old keys all right Right on up, god damn it. No battery lights. Yeah. So we can say this is a wrap. Be back in a minute. Gonna take this thing for a test drive. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we did on test drive and that thing run just flawlessly now. So you know what that means. This concludes another episode of Fix It Your Motherfucker Self on this 2009 Honda Pilot. We're going to holler at y'all next time around. Until then, keep the mask on. Y'all be safe out there.